Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, and J-Lo have all made it sexy to have some junk in the trunk. The Grammy-nominated song All About the Bass is telling women to embrace their curves, but when many fashions are based on stick figure Barbie dolls, it's hard to find clothes that look good on you. Here to help us hug our curves but not swerve off the road, welcome the author of Dress Yourself Skinny, image expert Sarah Shaw. Hey, Sarah. Dress yourself skinny. It really means to dress yourself in proportion and be the best body that you have. Right. To dress the body you have to look like the body you want. Yeah. And now we have some things that we can add to help tweak our bodies without the surgery. One, of course, the foundations to help control things. Absolutely. You know, celebrities really have a lot of advantages. They know how to pose perfectly and they know how to... Photoshop perfectly. Photoshop perfectly. Yeah. And we don't have that in real life. Yeah. So what we have is we have shapewear. Yeah. So and we also have wear that adds things. You know, padded bras have been known for a long time, but now you can get padded wear on other parts of the body as well. Yes. Yeah. So shapewear, um, if you want to smooth everything out and minimize it, a full body shaper is great. Yeah. Because it won't cut you in the thigh, it won't cut you in the waist and give you muffin tops. All right. But if you want to add something back there, yeah, there are these there you booty go. That's pants. The Beyonce thing right there. Right? Look at that. They okay. will actually add up to two inches to your backside. Oh, okay. I don't need any extra, but that's, that's <laughs> right? good to but know. Some people, yeah. some people would like a little more. Some people would like a little yeah. less. Okay. So we have um, several women here, because that's what you do. You, you consult with and meet with women to make their wardrobe fit them, uh, who had some issues with, with the base and want to know how to accentuate it the right way. Uh, first up, we have Veronica. Hi, my name is Veronica, and I have a love-hate relationship with my butt. Um, one of the problems, though, with dressing a bigger bottom half is um, finding dresses or pants that fit in, in the bottom as well as in the waist. So typically I have to get my waist taken in, which is, you know, just a, kind of a, a pain, but it's a necessary evil. All right, so Veronica has curves. Imagine that as a woman. She's got curves, and here you go. Here's what you did here, because sometimes a lot of us are upside down. Like she mentioned, she's been upside down, so it's hard to find things that really fit well. The material is important in this dress. Yes, so this is a stretch dress by Tease by Tina, and it's got a great texture on it. But the great thing about it is it will hug the waist without gaping and gently stretch um, to to smooth over her hips too so she doesn't need any tailoring in this dress yeah and you know would you turn around a second veronica so veronica feels like her body is um full on the bottom but really what she has is a perfect hourglass figure mm -hmm. so her shoulders are just as wide as her hips are and if she turns to the side you can see she has a really flat stomach i know you're ba -ba boom right <laughs> she really is so if you turn around front for a second, the big mistake in this body type is to wear a light color on the top and a dark color on the bottom, mm -hmm. because then you send your proportions crazy. Right. So what she needs to do is always wear the same lightness or darkness all over her body. So she could wear navy with eggplant. She could wear cream with Easter egg pink. Just so long as it's about the same tone on her whole body, right. she will always be in proportion. Now this dress has some pattern to it, but it, when it's all the same color like this, it makes it work. Too. It does. And the thing that's so great about this texture is it will really hide any little imperfections. So it's really a brilliant dress. Yeah. Cute, on the, cute, cute. On the hanger, it looks like a little bag. But once your body gets in it, it looks good. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So up next, we have Nicole. And here's Nicole's issue. Yeah. Hi, my name is Nicole. And I used to get teased a lot in high school for, you know, having a, a big booty. <laughs> Whenever I buy jeans or I want to buy a long shirt, I always have to take in consideration that it also fits my booty. All right, and so you found the perfect dress. This actually works for uh, somebody with curves or somebody who's very just like stick figure almost. Right, right. If you have curves, it's great for you. If you don't, it'll give them to you. Mm -hmm. So the thing that's so great about um, this fit and flare dress for Nicole is she's a little self-conscious about her tummy and she um, has a full full hips and full um, glutes. So if you turn sideways. Full glutes, I love it. She right? got a booty girl, she got a booty. <laughs> Man, I had to come up with so many yeah. different words, yeah. right? <laughs> so the thing that's so great here is 
is the fit and flare of the bottom of the dress totalizes her backside. Uh -huh. It looks like the dress. Yeah. It's not my body. It's the dress that's back there, right? <laughs> so yeah, very cute. And it cuts into the waist of that smallest part, which gives you again that hourglass figure when it flares out on the bottom. Exactly. And these cutouts at the top really emphasize that. It just makes her waist look even tinier. Yeah. And now she has an hourglass figure. All right. Give me a little little shimmy here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very cute, thank you. All right, up next is Heather. Hi, I'm Heather, and I, you know, even though I'm small, I still f I have cellulite on places that's just not cute. And then I feel like I have a boba butt, and I'm just... <laughs> She's like, I have cellulite and it's just not cute. <laughs> but that's where that shapewear can come in to smooth things too. Absolutely. And even though she's very slim, uh -huh. um, someone told her she had a big booty at some point in her life and that's just Did you get in rid of head. Him? Did you get rid of him? <laughs> <laughs> He's still around. Oh, okay. All right. Very, very, very cool. So on this dress, you did a little trick there. I did a little trick and it was actually Heather and I teamed up if you turn around um, to the back. So princess seaming and color blocking can really be your best friend when it comes mm -hmm. to slimming the waist and the hips. Creates zones. Exactly. And so when we put this dress on the first time, the right way, because um, she has it on backwards uh -huh. right now, Heather said, man, I wish that the stripes were on the back. So we just turned it around. Yeah. And now we put the illusion on the back where she needs it. Right, right. So that way it just makes everything look like it's in proportion. So great, great little trick. Exactly. And then turn back around because I cannot not uh, comment on that necklace. That is fantastic. But you're, you're a blogger, right? All right, so she makes all of these things. That necklace is amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. So, so you can find her at LAFashionSnob.com. And she is known for her neckwear and her headwear. Okay, when well. When you see her around town. Love, love it. Well, take flight. We figured out your problem. You're all good now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Heather. <laughs> and finally, we have Yolanda. Yep, and Yolanda has the opposite issue. Okay. Hi, my name is Yolanda Washington, and I spend a lot of time in the gym trying to build more curves to my backside. So I do a lot of squats, a lot of lunges. So I'm here today to find out what I can wear that will make me look curvier and have more backside. All right, so see, as a black girl, you're like, well, okay, I want a little extra. And so you were doing all the exercises. There's only so much we can do to really build those glutes up. And so after that, it might have to be the trick of, of shapewear well, and, and how you dress. So she actually owns a pair of the booty panties mm. that we saw at mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. And she said that, that they work pretty well under her jeans, but not so well under a skirt. They get a little saggy. So oh. if you turn to your, the side for a second, this skirt also um, teased by Tina, hugs her thighs and her rear end, so you can really see the curve of what she has. Yeah, yeah, and this is, uh, you're absolutely right, because right in here is the key. What we used to think would be too tight as a skirt comes right in, right there. Exactly. So then when it pulls into your thigh, you're right, that uh, it creates a, a bigger bubble. And you can see she has a great shape. Mm -hmm. So, and if she turns all the way to the back, this skirt has a diamond pattern on it, which will broaden yeah. um, her hips. Now, if you have too much hips, you, maybe you don't want that. Right, but and you here, also put the bright color on the bottom. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so the other thing is the light color always makes things bigger and the dark color smaller. All right, so now there you go. Sarah, thank you very much. All about the base. Need help dressing for your body type? We have a link to connect you with Sarah. Just go to our website, greatdayhouston.com. And when you come back, we're going to have to be all about the treble. Sure. Yeah, how to add a little something, something when you need some extra.